in all honesty, I have not watched an NFL game for I can't remember how long. This is Guam. Super Bowl is on at 9 o'clock in the morning. And it gives me an excuse to eat pizza for breakfast. I did watch a Dallas Cowboy game a couple of years ago when I had a friend of mine visit me from the Philippines. And I only let him watch the game because I felt sorry for him, being a Dallas fan. I haven't paid any attention to the standings or who's winning or who's losing. And the only reason I might watch this game is because uh, I just want to see Tom Brady get his butt kicked. And Terry she took advantage of the uh, opportunity to go to Home Depot while the game was on because she knows it won't be crowded. Uh, good for her. She's not watching the game anyway. Because there are no big Super Bowl commercials televised in this part of the world. It's all local programming. One of the nice things about watching sporting events here in this part of the world is that you get up, you get your coffee, have breakfast, watch the game, then take your nap. And after your nap, you have the rest of the day to, to spend the way you want. Well, I gotta say, I did like that rendition of the uh, Star Spangled Banner. and didn't see anybody kneeling. The one thing I will say, though, about watching football, in these COVID times, football is about the only thing that brings a lot of normalcy back to people's lives. I haven't watched any football for, uh, for going on years, uh, ever since just kneeling during the National Anthem started. I just got disgusted, like many other people have, um, and it just the NFL became too politicized for me. It wasn't uh, about sports anymore. It was about politics. So today might be a different day for me, so I'm going to tune in. I might have some pizza for breakfast, but uh, there won't be no beer drinking at 9.30 in the morning. It's just a little too early for that. I just noticed all the cardboard fans that are in the stands at this game. I just wonder how much the price of a Super Bowl ticket is for a cardboard fan. I wasn't lying when I said pizza for breakfast. And Brady throws the first touchdown pass of the game. And uh, I think the only fans cheering were the cardboard fans. Didn't Dr. Fauci say no cheering at the Super Bowl? Them cardboard fans, they just never listen. A new pot. Another bag of potting mix. Home Depot crowded? No, it's not crowded. Nobody there, huh? Nah, not hardly. Everybody's home watching the game. Yep, just like you. Well, that had to be about the most boring Super Bowl I've ever seen, or close to it. You know what it reminded me of? A regular season game with a bunch of hype, which it didn't live up to. I guess uh, I haven't really missed football as much as I thought after all. Can't wait for baseball season to start. <laughs>